Okay, so this is the Volt electric car, really cool. I like it a lot. However, uh, it's um, equipped with an OnStar system, which uh, does a lot of good things, but it also allows to track you. So anybody from a remote location, not anybody, OnStar, um, can uh, track any time you go anywhere, so follows you with the car. Also, on track um, can uh, eavesdrop, really, can listen to conversations because there's a system built in which allows to talk to the OnStar people. So if you go inside the car, here uh, OnStar is built. Here in the ceiling, you have the OnStar buttons. If you press the button, OnStar person comes on anytime, any place, and you can talk to them, which means they can hear you, which uh, tells me that... Uh, if somebody unauthorized uh, wanted to from OnStar, they could just activate the system and eavesdrop second, um, they can uh, track you anywhere they want. If you want to disconnect the OnStar, the only way to do it is uh, by just disabling it mechanically. OnStar has a fuse. Uh, the fuse box is right here by the driver's door. So you open the driver's door. Um, here there is a side panel. You can easily just pop it open. And there's a fuse box here. And uh, fuse number F9, which is right this one. You can just ease it out. It's a little bit stuck there. Okay. It's out. So I just took this fuse out, and now OnStar doesn't have power connected to it. And uh, to verify exactly the position of this fuse, um, there is a chart on that panel that I popped, and it explains what's where on the panel. So that's convenient. Uh, so, after doing that, I felt that there was still possibility probably to eavesdrop to conversations. Uh, so I decided to go one step further and disconnect the antenna uh, from the OnStar uh, unit. OnStar unit is uh, right here on driver's side. Here you have the pedals, the, the acceleration and the brake. And if you go further up here, it's a little bit dark. Uh, so I put some light here. The unit is built in here, and uh, I'll just reach up there and just loosen the box of that unit. Okay, I got it out here. So that's what the unit looks like. Okay, this is what the box looks uh, looks like after I pulled it out. And there's connectors. On the left hand side, there's two power connectors. So don't touch those because uh, power is needed to come to this box to operate the car. All you want to do is to d disconnect the little burgundy connector here. It's maroon color here, this connector. You want to just uh, pull it out. Just do it now. So now the connector is off. Notice that this connector has to be had to be squeezed to pull it off. There's a latch. This part here. So you just press it when you want to move it. You just press it like this, and that latch opens it up and um, opens up, and then you can remove the connector from this uh, pin here uh, which is uh, keyed so if you want to put it back in remember that this is keyed so there is uh, notches that have to match the indentations in the in this plug here There's two indentations plus a side thing but I remember always about pressing the latch here 
that will snap it in place. So now the box is disconnected and you can put it back in place where you got it from. So I'm now snapping back in the OnStar unit back where it was. So the OnStar unit now is not visible. It's up there, hidden, and uh, the system is disconnected. The OnStar light, you will see if, if I were to turn the car on, it would be red up there instead of green. But don't worry about it, just leave it the way it is. Uh, I snapped the panel for the fuse, the fuse panel back on. So that's, let me just redo it one more time. So the car is ready to go. Nobody can track you now. Nobody can follow you or eavesdrop on your conversations. You have your far privacy fully restored. Um, it won't affect the way the car drives. It's back the way it was. If you ever want to revert it back to the way it was, just remember, put the fuse back here and restore the connector, the maroon connector to the OnStar box. And that's all guys. Thanks. Okay, so I disconnected the OnStar box. Here were the two connectors that I had to remove. Those are snap-on connectors. And this was the third connector where the antenna was connected. So antenna goes here. Problem is, if I disconnected just the antenna, then this little connector here acts as a small reg residual antenna. And uh, now the car cannot be located with great accuracy, but uh, OnStar can still locate the car within maybe 20 feet or 50 feet. Uh, so this is still not good. So now I had to get a now I had to get a, a proper screwdriver. The tip is like five five um, uh, star. Um, and I'm using it to unscrew the uh, six screws here. Okay, here it is. I'm just removing the screws. I have to remove six of them all together. Okay, I'm all done here. All those six screws are removed. I put them to the side here. And uh, I remove the top. Okay, there's a piece of metal here, uh, sheet metal. I'm removing that. Inside is the electronics. And now I lift gently this uh, piece of electronics here and remove it. So maybe I put it here to the side. So that's it. You have to watch that on the back of it, there's this white spot, which is covered with uh, some connector uh, ointment that allows for good to make good connection with this protruding piece of metal here. So don't wipe it off. Leave that white, white residue, white uh, uh, connecting. Uh, ointment on top of it. Now, what's exposed? Is, uh, the PCB board, the green board here, that is the circuitry to process the signal that comes in here. So the signal comes in here from the antenna and it's processed on this board here. I will just remove that board Well, 
cannot remove it because there's screws here. So I have to remove the screws first. There's three, three black screws. It's the same size screws as the ones on top of the box. I'm removing it. Now let's say all three are removed. One, two, three. And now I can remove the circuitry with the antenna connector. They put it to the side. In the future I may decide to restore this, for example when I'm selling the car. So I'll put this uh, circuitry in a piece of uh, envelope here and I'll tape it. So t tape it to the bottom of, the, of this uh, enclosure. Uh, so in the case I maybe in a couple of years want to restore this I can take it out and uh, I'll have inside taped uh, the, um, the actual card and, and the screws. So I have taped this uh, envelope with the circuitry for um, processing the antenna signal to the bottom of this and now I will restore back again the main board which is needed for other functions in the car without this uh, the car is not going to operate so you have to have it back so this board is back here and now I'm uh, putting the remember to put the board exactly the way it was so that the connectors are at the right spot now I'm taking the top cover the sheet metal cover and uh, place it back the way it was originally okay like this I have the six uh, screw openings and I'll just start putting screws one by one and screwing them back in here okay we are done all the six screws are placed back the way they were and now we can take the box go to the garage take it uh, and replace it back connect it back the way it was inside the vehicle here are the connectors the two connectors that will be connected back to the box exactly the way they were originally taken out okay now the two connectors are connected this is the box here it's still outside um, and this is the two connectors make sure that you connect the white connectors to the white sockets there's a third black J3 socket and that one is not used so use only J1 and J2 J1 is a little bit larger connector, it's a little bit wider, and the J2 is, is a little bit narrower. And you make sure that you snap them on. There is a snap on at the bottom so they don't come out loose when you are driving. So as you are replacing the connectors, plugging the connectors, plug them all the way down so that they are connected and snap. And then take the box and just tuck it back again. Now, just to make, to make sure that um, everything is okay, uh, try to connect to OnStar and uh, you should find out that you cannot do that. Press the button. Connecting to OnStar. I'm sorry, I couldn't connect to OnStar. Please try again. Your OnStar call has ended. Goodbye. That means that everything is fine. The OnStar cannot spy on you. You cannot connect to OnStar. There's a total breach of connection between OnStar and you.